Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. There is only 30 days left until GCSEs and A-levels start, so I'm making this video to tell you how to plan and revise for every single subject so you can get the best grades that you could possibly get. This video will be, will be split into two sections. One will be planning and one will be revision. So let's start with the planning section. In terms of planning, I need you to do three things. First, I need you to write a list of every single one of your subjects. Then, I need you to order that list based on how difficult each subject is for you. Then, I need you to make a separate list and separate the subjects based on how important they are to you. You're going to use these two lists to decide how much time you'll be spending each week on revising these subjects. For the subjects that are the most difficult, as well as the most important, I need you to put in the most time and use the best revision methods for this subject. For example, for me, science is my most in is one of my most important subjects and also one of my most difficult subjects. So I am doing everything I can, putting in the most time. I do flashcards every single day for science. I'm putting in the most time, use my most effective revision resources to revise science. For the subjects that are the most difficult but not very important to you, I need you to put in the less time or less time for those subjects, but I need you to use the best revision methods for those subjects. For example, RE is a very difficult subject for me, but I don't need it at all. It's not important to me whatsoever. I put very little time into revising it, but I use effective methods like blurting that I'll be explaining later in this video. For the least difficult subjects to you, but they are quite important, I recommend putting in a lot of time into them but using less effective revision methods for example maths is very important to me i need to get a very good grade in maths to go on to do further maths at a level but it's really easy for me it's much less strenuous and difficult than further maths gcse that i'm already doing Therefore, I only choose a few hard topics that I definitely find difficult and answer questions on them to revise my maths. But I'll talk more about maths later in this video. Finally, for the least difficult subjects, as well as least important, you use the least effective revision methods, as well as put the least amount of time because the least difficult and least important, you don't really need them. And even if you wanted to get good grade in them, you don't need to do that much. For example, French, I don't revise French at all. But if you do find me revising French, I really, all I'm doing is going online and checking how to conjugate um, verbs into different tenses just to make sure I remember those and then I just leave it at that I don't do anything else okay now we've got onto the revision portion of this video now I'm going to be talking about how to revise every single subject the best way possible in my opinion for maths it's quite easy to revise it's quite straightforward there's not much else that you need to do except for this you need to use past papers to identify your weaknesses do past papers under time conditions to mirror what you'd be doing in an actual exam hall, then mark it yourself. And then anything you get wrong, write down a list of those subjects and make sure to revise them. If you don't understand the concept of the subject you're trying to revise, watch a video by Corbett Maths. And when you're trying to remember how to do these questions for those subjects, I suggest also using Corbett Maths provided questions and just answer loads of them until you remember the methods for these subjects, for these topics really well. In terms of English language, all you really need to do is use past papers. But if you don't want to use past papers, you could also use just practice questions. Like you could just do questions from a past paper, and not do entire past papers. I don't do entire past papers. I just do specific questions I find difficult in English language and then send them to my teacher and get feedback and make sure you listen to that feedback or you'll just never improve. In terms of English literature, it's kind of similar to English language, but there's a bit more that you need to do for it. For English literature, I do do practice essays for things like Inspect Calls, Merchant of Venice, Christmas Carol, 
and I send them to my teacher for feedback and then listen to that feedback and improve based on it. I make flashcards for these novellas and plays and I try to memorize quotes from them with flashcards so that I can have a nice bank of quotes in my head for the exam to get loads of A or 1 marks. Furthermore, I think it would be really useful to do some extra research online for A O 3 marks. A O 3 is use of context and talking about the writer's perspectives and why the writer does things. For example, I researched a bit more to Sabbatarianism used in the Elizabethan times for Christmas Carol and the effect that it had on the poor at that time so I can talk more about that in my essays on the poor for Christmas Carol. In terms of religious education, I just do loads and loads and loads of practice questions, send them to my teacher, get marked and get feedback on them. It's so effective that I went from getting 6 marks out of 12 for the most important questions on the paper, which was a question 5, to 9 and 10 marks out of 12 on this question which was a really big improvement for me, especially because I don't even like, like Ari or want to do it or care about it in any way. I also use blurting a lot for Ari. Basically, I'll get loads of topics and I'll just write down every single thing I know about them. And then once I'm done with that, I get a red pen or a blue pen, get my textbook provided by the school, and I just write down every single thing I missed or didn't say correctly. And then that is what I'm going to be revising instead of all the black pen that I already knew and I don't really need to revise if I know it. So I'm only going to revise the stuff in a different colour. This is a great way to implement an active recall which actively makes your brain have to get information and then spew it out onto whatever you're doing. And therefore you're more likely to remember that thing for your exams. In terms of French, French is by far the most easy subject to revise. It may not be the easiest subject to pass, but it's definitely the easiest to revise. All you need is flashcards. And you may say, oh, but I can't make flashcards, there's no time. Well, if you use the flashcard app that I always promote called Anki, you can download pre-made decks on it and get pre-made decks of just loads of French words and memorize those really easily. That's really all you need to do for writing, listening, reading, and speaking. In terms of obviously your speaking um, general questions for French or whatever foreign language you do, you obviously need to memorize them. If depending, It depends on what your school does. My school gives us things to memorize and I just memorize them and that and that's kind of self-explanatory self on what you need to do for those ones. Furthermore, obviously you need to be able to conjugate verbs into different tenses to get those higher marks. So therefore, you don't really need to do much for that. You just need to go online, type in the tense you need to learn and just learn it because they're not very hard. In terms of geography, I haven't done geography in a long time. I did it last year for, as a GCSE in year 10 and I did get a 9 for it. And basically what I did is that I made loads of questions for myself to practice logical chains of reasoning. And I just marked them by myself as well. Wait, no, I didn't mark them by myself. I sent them to my teacher to mark. And I gave, I gave her loads, like, like a lot. I did a lot. Like if you saw some of my old YouTube videos, you've seen like piles and piles of papers of just loads of practice questions that I made for myself because for the example that I was doing for geography, they didn't have that many exam papers that I could steal exam questions from. So I made loads by myself, but it worked wonders because I did get a nine. You can also use blurting to help your revision for geography. All you need to do is get a topic any ge geographical topic and just write down anything you know about that topic using the blurting technique and then obviously you use a different color pen and write down the stuff that you didn't include with a textbook just read from the textbook see what you didn't include and then write it down and then that's going to be the stuff you memorize in terms of science i, I have this four-step system that i use all the time and it works without fail first you need to do past papers just do any past paper for any subject in science, biology, physics, chemistry, do a past paper. Mark it for yourself, maybe get your teacher to mark some of the six markers if you can't do it yourself. 
and then write down a list of all the week topics and the topics that you didn't do very well on in terms of questions. And then for those week topics, if you don't understand that topic, then watch a video on it by Cognito. I would recommend free science lessons, but I feel Cognito is more useful with his little diagrams and drawings. It makes it really easy to understand. Once you've understood the concept of the video, all you need to do is do practice questions on that concept. You can use a CGP book for this and just answer questions instead of doing entire past papers. Or you can use things like physics and math teacher, which have massive banks of questions for certain topics. And finally, after that, you need to make sure to memorize these weak topics so that you know them for your exam. To do this, all you need to do once again, for the final time, is use blurting. Blurting is so good. I've already explained it twice, so you know what it is. That's all for that video. This is going to be a really difficult video to edit because I made so many mistakes during this video. But I hope you enjoyed it and good luck for your revision in GCSEs because I know I'm going to need it. So I'm giving you guys some good luck as well. Um, oh yeah, subscribe, like, have a great day. Goodbye.